Welcome to the basic workout brought to you from Soup to Tomatoes. And thank you so much for my uh, new shirt, Blind River. A nice gentleman came by and dropped it off for me. So I'm always so honored that you you give me these nice shirts. So thank you once again to the gang in uh, Blind River. And to the gang in, at the Elks, thank you too. I always appreciate your participation and all of you that participate. And why do we participate? Because we want to keep our bodies um, strong even as we age, right? Fantastic. So shoulders back, chest out. And as I can see, a lot of people out there are sporting some red today. And that's just for solidarity to kind of show the troops or anybody that served in the past, present, or any of the people that support those people that we salute you all. And um, thank you so much. So I think it's a really nice thing that we kind of all come together for that. And uh, I always get really um, a little emotional even about it, you know, silly little thing like that. So anyway, let's put that aside. And uh, welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. It's Friday. And this week we've been talking about preventing long-term disease, right? That's kind of why we're working out. And that's most of the people I train every day are not in it for weight loss, like weight loss is a bonus, but really you're in it to help control your blood sugars, your blood pressure, to make sure your bones stay strong, and that you have muscles to keep your body strong. So with that in mind, let's begin with a little bit of shoulder warm up. So we're going to take, actually make a fist. And take your elbows back and see that your elbows are about shoulder height, but it might be more comfortable a little lower. That's fine. And then press the palms back as far as they will go. Gently, right? We don't want to swing through it. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. So we're just warming up to it. Woo! Fantastic. Tonight I'm going to train a bunch of, of kids, um, hockey kids. To, uh, to get their agility up and their strength and their core strength up. So I'm pretty excited about that. But really, the principles are the same, right? I'm going to make them do shoulder warm-up. I'll probably make them do angel wings, right? Just to see where their shoulders are at. So with that in mind, let's get our shoulders back, chest out. This is angel wings, in case you're wondering. Big deep breaths. Squeeze those shoulder blades down and back and try to press the palms back. To open up the chest seat, that's where you want to be, as though you're up against the wall, right? We'll just pretend, right? That's where you want to be with it. So you're trying to train your chest to open and get the shoulder blades really active, squeezing them back. That's it. Just like you do in your row. It's all the same. That's right. One more, one more. All right, we'll take those arms down a little bit. Press the palms actively together. Keep the legs moving. When we do something, remember, with our upper bodies and do something different with the, the lower body, it really helps to differentiate the nervous system so that you can activate either more easily. So even, like I said, with the hockey players tonight, I'll be working on those same things separating their upper body from their lower body, as well as separating the individual arms and legs. Fantastic. Okay, I got one more marching move. That kind of rhymes, right? Big deep breaths now, one more, one more. Elbows together, palms together. Fantastic. Kickbacks. So you always want to squeeze your heel towards your bum. If you do it slow, fantastic, but you could take a little faster, right? Woo! That's it. <coughs> so I guess Blind River thought my shirt was a little baggy. So they got me a smaller shirt. See, it fits better, huh? <laughs> it's not as big, but now I have two. So if one gets dirty, um, I can... Uh, have it available, right? So fantastic. Thank you so much. Woo! I always forget. There's no more second hand on my clock. So I got to look over 
and we're doing here and then 30 second knees up knees up knees up just the knees stay nice and tall try to get the knee up and try not to let your body go forward just stay nice and tall Woo, I can feel those today anyway because by Friday my muscles are getting pretty sore starting to feel those muscles five four three two one we only get one chance to do push-ups today so let's do 12 of them just to be safe so it's a good military move anyway so remember your push-ups try to make it a little harder today perhaps knowing it's only one time so shoulders back chest down remember to have your hands low enough so that they're in your nipple line or in your chest line and keep your body nice and stiff inhale exhale or squeeze your armpits here exhale down see my nice back inhale up it's a beautiful beautiful move you get a really nice stretch at the bottom and then if you squeeze your arms against your body you get some added resistance at the top there really active move so remember we're doing 12 of them what do you say we're like halfway no more than that some of you are fast eh? just come back and just march it out that's all so whenever you're done come back march it out take a drink Woo! Okay, so I thought we'd review for our warm-up some of the basic moves that you should be practicing all the time. One of them is the wide squat. In uh, karate, it's called sukodachi, sukodachi, I want to say, something like that. But anyway, it's basically the wide squat. So you can start seated if you like. We're going to do some arms with it. Knees over ankles, toes pointing in the right direction. So when we're doing it standing... Right? This is what tends to happen, or this arching of the back. So to prevent that, you tuck your tailbone under and pull your abs in. So whether you're seated or standing, we start with stretched out arms, shoulders back, chest out. We inhale and reach up. Exhale, come down into your squat. Now even if you're seated, pull the abs in, tuck the tailbone under. Inhale. Or squeeze your bum. Another way to say it, squeeze your bum right here. Good. Inhale up, squeeze your bum again. Exhale, come down. Squeeze that bum again. Yes. Two opportunities here. Two opportunities. Big deep breaths. Reach. Exhale down. Reach out. These are reaches. So reach with your fingertips up. Exhale down. Reach with your fingertips out. No, no, no willy nillies. Really reach. Exhale, really reach. Not here, here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch out, stretch out, out, out. There you go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch out like you mean it. Two more, two more. I want to see some heat here. We're all dressed in red. Woo! We look like, like beautiful red fire or something right so let's light it on fire all right here we go and then we'll take it down good job good job nice arms so feet together next or feet hip width apart your choice we're going to do a squat and row so again you can stay seated we're going to be doing things with the arms anyway so have a seat try to keep your arms up your chest out you can have a seat or not. Make sure you know where your chair is there. Almost missed my cue. Squish shoulders back, chest down, squeeze your bum. So now we'll add the roll. So come up, and as you come up, you're going to roll the elbows back. And then reach down, come up, squeeze, row. Or here, right? Or seated. And row, chair squat. Always recommend it always recommend it more so than the wide squat because this is the one we use to go to the washroom five more five more four more three squeeze those legs together 
together, squeeze that bum, two, looking fantastic, and squeeze your bum for one more time, Woo! good job, good job, all right, so next one is the lunge, the lunge is a primary move, and it has two purposes, it's to stretch the quad in the back, and to work the quad in the front. So one of them is contracting, the other one is stretching. So if you have, your placement is always to put the leg that's forward next to the chair so that you can hold on with that arm and stay really nice and tall. See, and I already feel a stretch right here. So then I let that knee go down, but this one hardly moves at all, stays on top. And then we come up and you squeeze, kind of like the whole leg right here. And then down and up, two. So if you're seated, you do the leg press. So in and really press out, three. In and really press out, four. So you're really activating that other leg. So we're doing the same as the pissed in the front leg. Five, feel the stretch, right? It's beautiful. Don't let the knee ever touch the ground. Six, not only because that can be um, detrimental to the knee, but also uh, because it's a rest, and I don't want you to rest. So two more. <sighs> Unless you need it, then you can rest. But not during the exercise, right? All right, so let's switch legs. And again, the leg that's forward is next to the chair. It just makes for better posture. And then you find your knee. You always begin with the knee and the toe in the front because you can see it. And then you press back so you're feeling kind of a little stretch right here, right? And it helps with the quad stretch later. And I kind of press the heel back at the top to really ground myself in the position. Two, or if you're seated, remember? Three, really press that heel out like you mean each one. Four, each one is important. Let's do it nice and slow and tall. Five, you can squeeze your bum as well. Yes, yes, feel free. Six, seven, woo! Eight, nine, it works so good though, right? One more, one more. And 10, fantastic. So uh, I really like doing the one-legged deadlift. So that's what we're going to do. We're only going to do five, though. So I want you to imagine when you're doing it today that the leg you're standing on is really soft and that the foot that's pressing back is stretching along with the opposite arm. So as you go down, you inhale and really stretch and then come back all the way to tall. Don't skimp out on the tall. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, come back, opposite arm and leg. If you're seated, inhale, stretch, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, come back. Good, and five of these. Actually, my foot should be out a little bit. There you go. Good. So five of them. That's about five there, right? So when you're, you've done five, switch directions. So opposite side now. Shoulders back, chest out, soften the leg you're standing on, press your heel back, square your hip, and reach out. There's your position. And then come up. It's a really important position. It's called spinal balance. And try to hold with less and less. So in this one, the more you lift the leg, you know, the deeper the stretch. Two more, two more. One more. Are you getting warm? Good, good. Okay, last one in that warm-up. So take a drink. I gotta say, today's workout's gonna be a little bit intense, I think. Because I picked kind of very rudimentary um, uh, exercises, but when you put them all together in a whole workout, it ends up being a lot of uh, work for the body, right? So let's uh, begin with opposite arm and leg. So we only need one dumbbell for the first set. You can stand behind your chair and hang on to it, you know, as you lift the opposite arm and leg. Or you can sit 
and lift the opposite arm and leg. Or you can stand, but be near your chair and lift the opposite arm and leg. I'm going to call this one number three, okay? Four, slower, slower. Five, right there. Keep the elbow soft. Six, try to lift with the heel. Seven, soften the leg you're standing on. Or if you're seated, press that leg into the floor. Eight, almost there, almost there. Nine, I'm sweating already. One more. Ten. Woo! I know, right? I know. I know. Seated or standing is quite the challenging move. So shoulders back, chest out nice and tall. Soften the leg you're standing on. Or if you're seated, really press that leg into the um, floor. Press your back up against the seat. Sit as tall as you can. Make the leg and the arm do the work. Two. Woo! Three. Are we feeling it or not? Four. I wasn't kidding, right? One dumbbell only. Five. Woo! Six. We're almost there. We're almost there. Seven. So good. I like your slow tempo. Eight. Let's feel it. Nine. Woo! Are we going to get strong or what? Ten. Good job. Good job. So this one too, I'll have to give you an alternative for seated there, but if you're standing, you're going to take opposite arm and leg back. So shoulders back, chest out, soften the leg you're standing on, take opposite arm and leg back. So now if you're seated, you have to do the leg pump to get that same action. So you have to sit at the edge of the chair, opposite arm and leg, press down as you release. Two. Okay, three, you got it. Opposite arm and leg though. Four, stand really nice and tall. It kind of forces it, doesn't it? Five, I thought about these. Six, such a little move, such a big impact, yes? Seven, let's feel it, let's feel it. Eight, shoulders back, chest out, press it back. Nine, last chance. Woo! Ten. Other side. Other side. We're not even done yet. So we get to enjoy ten more. Shoulders back. Chest out. Press opposite heel and arm back. Soften the leg you're standing on. Woo! Two. Oh, you seated ladies. Fantastic. Yes, that's right. So remember, if you're seated, pressing back. Seven. That's it. Eight, nine, one more, ten, fantastic. Now seated or standing, we hold away with both our arms, we reach up, and we do same knee, or seated, right? If you have trouble balance, feel free to do the seated. <sighs> Try to exhale on the crunch, inhale on the shoulder press. Exhale on the crunch. That's it. It's a great balance exercise, isn't it? Woo! Good. So we're at number five. We got five more. Four more. Four more. Where are we going to take it? Three more. Enjoying two more. Why are we doing it? For our spine, for our abs, for our legs, for our shoulders. <sighs> Fantastic. We're going to separate the knee raises with a wide squat. So again, you can sit. You can sit. Fine with me. And just lift it up and squeeze your bum. And then lower it back down. So it's a front shoulder exercise. Or you come up. And lift the weight with you as you come up. Come down. See how nice and tall I'm staying? And up. Three. Very good. Very nice. Exactly. Four. Perfect. Nice and slow. Feeling the shoulder. Five. Squeezing the bum. 
Yes, every time. Squeeze your bum right here. Six. Seven. Woo! Let's feel it. Eight. Squeeze it right here. Nine. One more. Ten. All right, let's bring it back in. Bring our legs back in. Now we have the diagonal raise. So you can always drop the dumbbell. We're going to go up, diagonal. So even if you're seated, same thing. Up. Ah, it's pretty good. Three. This is actually a stretch for your IT band. Do you know that? Because I can feel my IT band's tight and that's stretching me a little bit. Woo! And it would make sense. So we should do it all the time. Five more. Four more. Woo! Are you wondering when we're going to put this weight down? Two more. In two more. In two more. In one more. In one more. Woo! That's it. Fantastic. Put the weights down. Take a little drink. Do a little dance, whatever you're going to do. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, toe taps, one minute. Toe taps, one minute. This is what I call a boost. So it's called an active rest, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we can keep our arms moving with toes tapping. So I decided to pick some of my favorite moves that we could do. One minute each, so three minute active rest or boost, okay? Woo, halfway through this minute. Are we having fun? Keep those toes tapping, toes tapping only. Heels are grounded, nice and tall, smiling, shoulders back, chest out. At least you're not doing squats, yeah? Woo, 15 seconds. <laughs> right, at least you're not doing squats. All right. Oh yeah, no more second hand. Five. Four, three, two, one. Two options for the next one. You can go up on both feet for your calf press, or you could do 30 seconds one foot, 30 seconds the other foot. But you decide. You could stay with both, go nice and slow. You don't want more than about 15 repetitions in your minute. Otherwise, you're breathing too fast, right? <sighs> nice and slow. We're going to change feet if we're doing one leg in four, three, two, one, and switch. Other side, Captain Morgan style, yeah? Woo, but it's your choice. Both are good. Both are good. Good. And sometimes you have to pick the one that suits you, right? And this is always an option as well, having both feet down, always an option. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, done. Last one, the fart move. Again, you can choose side bends. You can choose side bends, remember? Because it's the same, it's just from a different angle. But we, uh, or I'm going to show the fart move. Yeah, good. You pick the one that suits you. Honestly, it really doesn't matter how you go about it. Find the 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 one that suits your body, and do that one. That's the key to working out successfully, isn't it? Now, whatever you're doing, go slow. <sighs> Yesterday in Parliament, somebody said fart, and they were reprimanded for saying fart. So uh, they were, t they were t asked by the Speaker of the House to take their fart back, and they wouldn't. They said no. Because they, they compared a, a fart in a room to uh, Alberta's economy. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know that the Speaker of the House liked that comparison. Anyway, so uh, the next uh, one, we're going to use two dumbbells. It's just three exercises. So grabbing our dumbbells, right? That was one minute. That was fast, yeah? Because you're thinking about the parliament and their farts, yes? Feet hip width apart, shoulders back, chest out, 
Soften the knees. Bring the chest forward for our deadlift. Now from here, we're just going to row today, focusing on our row. So uh, I have a tendency to kind of want to bring the dumbbells closer to my armpits, but they're actually supposed to be aimed towards your hips. And then you squeeze your elbows back. So down, still set, up, squeeze. Down, set, up, squeeze. Shoulders back. You want the elbows to stay soft even when you have them released down. So I'm going to call this one number five. And down. Make sure you squeeze at the top. Hold that top position until you feel it. And then release it. Four more to go. Squeeze. And down. Three more. Squeeze. And down. Two more. Squeeze. And down. One more. Squeeze. Down. And come up. Very good. Shoulders back. Chest out. We're going to do standard curl. So watch your wrists. Keep them in line with your forearms. Soften your elbows. Come all the way up without moving your elbows. And down. Keep them soft. Don't let them go all the way to straight. Keep them a little bit bent. Two. You know what I mean? Squeeze your bum and pull your abs in at the same time. Three. Now smile. And think how strong you've gotten. <laughs> That's good, right? Do you know we're stronger when we think positive things? Yes. The thinking negative things actually weakens our body. So positive, everyone. Positive. Good thoughts. Four more. Big deep breaths. I can think how fantastic you guys all look in red. That makes me happy. Woo! For those of you not wearing red, you also look fantastic. One more. One more. Good. All right, side bend is the last one, but we're going to add a shrug. So we're going to do shrug, shoulders back, chest out, and then to one side, to the other side. Good. Again, shrug, shrug is up, roll back and down to the set position. Squeeze your bum and then go over. So see how my shoulders are staying back? Oh, so are yours. Very good. Shoulders back, chest down. Get that set position. Squeeze your bum. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. So good. So good. Let's do it again. Up. Roll back and down. Shrug. Squeeze it here. Exhale over. Don't lose that posture. It's so important. Lift. Roll back, down, together, open up that chest, squeeze your bum before you exhale over. Inhale up, exhale over. Enjoy each one, enjoy each one. Shoulders back, chest out, down, Woo! exhale over, inhale up, exhale over. Woo! Two more, two more. Shrug. Fantastic. One more. One more. So good. Oh. Oh, good. Good, good. good. It fixed itself. It fixed itself. Good. So put the hands down for a minute. We're going to toe tap. One minute. It's acting a little funny again. So if I lose you for any reason, we're doing toe tap one minute. We're doing the fart move or the side bend and then the calf press for one minute, okay? So just in case, just in case. All right, let's get those toes tapping. Let's do the reaches this time. So we're going to reach out, reach up, and reach forward. Reach out like you mean it. Don't just put your arms there. Reach out like you're going to touch something over there. You're going to touch something up here. And now you're going to touch something here, but your shoulders are still set. In all the positions, you want to think about setting the shoulders. Up, set the shoulders, keep the toes tapping. Here, reach with the fingers, but still set the shoulder. Out, reach with the fingers, set the shoulder. See? Oh, that's beautiful. Reach, set. Front, reach, set. We got time for one more round. Reach, 
set those shoulders. See, it straightens mine out. You see one is goes higher and it fixes it the minute I set the shoulders. It's so important to all your physical activities. Good job, one minute again. So here we go, far move or side bend, your choice. We're gonna lift our hip off the chair, lift the leg, or take the arms away. Very good, slower. You're doing the side bend, go way slower. There you go, that's it, that's it. Woo, come back to tall so that you can realign. I bet you some of you go and look up what the parliament talked about farts for. Huh? <laughs> you can't help it, right? You, you curious now? Probably maybe some of you know already because you heard it on the news. <sighs> They're talking about farts all over the world because of it. <sighs> Good. Three, two, one. Done. Next one is the calf press. So another good option if you're doing the calf press is to lift one leg and do the calf press 30 seconds seated or both legs standing or just one leg. Your choice. Woo! Either way, really super fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing to Ooh, this is fun, Renee. You're so right. All right, let's switch legs or keep at it with two legs. Good. Oh, I like it. I like it. If you keep one leg up when you're seated, it's just going to work your legs a little bit more because there's not the same kind of resistance. So holding that isometric contraction will get more out of your workout. All right. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Done. This time we're going to do five repetitions of that first set. So you need one dumbbell. All right, don't think about it. Shoulders back, chest out. We're either going here, out to the side, and back, or here, or behind your chair, holding your chair. Two. All right, you got it. Three. It's your favorite move, right? Four. One more. If you're a little late coming in, five, just do a few extra. And then switch. Shoulders back, chest out, and then go. Woo, you got it. So here, three, let's not rush, let's not rush. Four, let's savor this last one. Five, that's right. So now we're gonna pump it back. So if you're seated, you're gonna take opposite arm and leg, pump the arm back, and do a leg pump with the leg. So if we're standing, opposite arm and leg go back. I'm gonna call this one number two. Three, not really number two. Four, five. Good, and then the other side, and then the other side. So here, shoulders back, chest out. I don't wanna trip over that dumbbell. There we go. Or, Pressing back off his leg. I'm going to call this one number three. <laughs> That's better. Four. Are you doing opposite arm and leg? One more. Five. Uh -huh. Sometimes you want to do the same one, huh? All right. Shoulder press and knee raise. So you can either stand or sit. Your choice. Same knee. <sighs> same elbow. Okay? Big deep breaths. That's your shoulder press. But we're going on the light side of our shoulder press today because we're doing two sets of these, right? Good. Fantastic. So that was five. That's good. That's good. And then wide, you can sit. You go all the way to eye level and down. Or come all the way up. Stay tall. Go down. I'm going to call this one number three. <laughs> I don't like calling him number two. Four. <laughs> one more. Five. Good. Now back to our narrow position. We do our shoulder press once again, this time with the diagonal. 
diagonal. Now remember, we only have four more. So let's really savor them. Woo! Good. Oh yeah, three more. Two more. Two more. One more. Fantastic. Back to our toe taps. So we're toe tapping. One minute. Good job, good job. And let's do um, some with our arms, shall we? Shoulders back, chest out, big deep breaths. Good. And again, shoulders back, chest out, big deep breaths. Keep the toes tapping, though. Keep the toes tapping. Look how good we're getting at separating our upper and lower bodies, right? Like, that's huge. Remember how hard that used to be? That's our brains getting stronger. Like, whoo! It, it gets stronger, it gets it gets weaker too, so you don't want to let that happen. You want to try to get it stronger if you can. And exercise is one of the best things to keep our minds strong and active, especially if we're always changing up the workout. 15 seconds left to enjoy this move, not even 10 seconds. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. One, fantastic, uh, calf press next. So we're gonna do either on our toes with both legs, on one leg for 30 seconds, or seated with one leg for 30 seconds. So that you really are holding this leg, which is the hard work. Five seconds left, and then we switch. Yeah, getting a lot of calf work today, huh? Two, five minutes is what's recommended. So let's switch. But not, I wouldn't say five consecutive minutes. I would say five minutes broken up into chunks. Yeah. 15 seconds. This leg feels good, doesn't it? Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Now you decide, you could do the far move or the side bend. So if you wanna do the side bend standing maybe to change it up, exhale over. It's our last round. So you can pick, you can pick, you can do the far move and that'll be your third minute today. That's a record for us, that's a record. Good, I love, I love the side stretch. I find the side stretch is fantastic, but I also love the far move. So since I'm torn, I'll do both. That way I get to enjoy both. Isn't that fantastic? Options are always available. Woo! Let's enjoy this. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. We have one more set with two dumbbells. We're going to do five of each. We have time. I looked. We have time. So we have the bent over row because all those exercises didn't cover our latissimus dorsi and our lower backs. Well, a little bit the lower back, but the this one covers both. Our lower back because we're in a bent over position. We just got to make sure our knees are soft and our shoulders are back and our chest is out. From here, we row our dumbbells up kind of heading towards the hips, but squeezing them against the rib cage, and then releasing them down to a set position. Up. Now remember, we only have three left. So really squeeze it at the top and feel it, and then release it. Two more, two more. You need to feel those latissimus dorsi, so squeeze it, and come back down. Next, last one. Don't let it down until you feel those muscles. And then release, bring it back to the legs, Come back up nice and tall. Fantastic, fantastic. Standard curl. Remember, watch the wrists. If it's too hard to keep them in line, do it sideways, okay? But it's only five. Down, up, and slowly down. <laughs> Just getting confused here. Big deep breaths. Good. Only three more to enjoy. Only three more. Two more. 
And then one more. Woo! Are we squeezing our bum? Good, good. I hope so. I hope so. Shoulders back, chest out. We're going to shrug. Go to one side and the other. You may feel your intercostals tomorrow, right? The muscles around your rib cage. Because we actually do it in a lot of sets where we use these muscles here, right? All those far moves, shoulders back, chest out, two sets of these side bends that are weighted. Good, two more. Shrug, squeeze your bum. Exhale, inhale. So this is the same thing you should feel when you're doing your side bends. One more time, shrug, feel it, squeeze it. Squeeze your bum, exhale over. Inhale tall. Exhale lower. Fantastic, fantastic. All right. So one of the uh, most beneficial stretches we do when we do yoga, it's warrior one and warrior two. Warrior one is all about the, uh, the hip flexor. So it's a lunge. So from your lunge position, you press your heel back and you will feel a stretch right here. So this would be called warrior one in a lunge position. So now we switch and we do the other side. So if you were seated, you could do the same thing. You would get into a lunge, press your heel back and holy macaroni, do you feel it? You should feel it right here. It's a quad stretch. Good. Now the next position for warrior one is you bring your feet together. I don't know if you could see that. You see it now? Feet hip width apart. And then you take one foot back as far as you can so that it's at an angle. And from this position, you press your hip forward, knee over ankle. So it's a calf stretch. Do you feel that? So if you don't feel it, either step the front foot more, but the hips have to be forward, the rib cage forward. And then you switch. So if you're naturally hip width apart here and you step the foot back wherever it wants to go, you should kind of feel it. Your foot will probably be at 45 degree. And then you straighten your hip out and then do it. So the calf stretch seated is this. So if you're seat, sitting and wanting to calf, do a calf stretch, this is it basically, right? You, you pull your toe up and then all of a sudden you get those calf muscles engaged. And then from there, we press forward into our forward fold. Now, when you're here feeling it, I want you to notice where you feel it. If all you feel is the back of your knee, which I'm feeling right now, if I soften that joint, I can press a little further into the stretch. And then I feel it in different spots, like maybe my lower back, maybe my calf a little more. So if you're feeling it really intensely in the knee, soften the knee and then release the hands down. One more deep breath. Good. And then come back. So did you notice the difference? A? Eh? Because sometimes people have really flexible knees, including myself. So I have to be really careful that I don't hyper extend them. So when I'm feeling a lot of strain back in the knee, it means that I need to bend it a little bit. So flex the foot and press your chest forward. Now notice where you feel the stretch. It's actually going to get into your lower back, calf, or hamstring. And then take a deep breath here. And if you have to soften the knee and feel it differently, do so. Release the hands and the head down. Good. Fantastic. And then we'll do a really quick back and shoulder stretch. So one of the best ones is volcano. So you start with volcano or reach up. Good. And you can kind of feel maybe if you're really reaching up, you kind of feel the muscles release. Good. And then from here, we're going to widen the feet a little bit and slide ourselves between our legs and relax our heads fully. So if you did want to do this standing, 
it would look like this, right? Or you can press your hands on the inside of the legs and put your bum down. So that's the stretch, but it's way gentler if you do it this way. One more deep breath. Good. And then put your hands on your thighs and lift yourself up. From that position, we're going to bring one hand into the leg and reach up. And take this hand and bring it all the way behind us. And bring it tight to our rib cage. Try to reach the leg that's down here. Open up your rib cage. One more deep breath. Good. And then reach up. And then come to the other side. Reach up, slide down. And then bring your hand behind you. Trying to reach behind, right? Like that. Good. Try to open up your shoulder as though you want to look up at the ceiling. So pull that shoulder back. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, return. So good job, everyone. Good job. And thank you so much. Fantastic week. And I hope you all feel healthier and stronger as a result. All right. See you next week uh, for more fun stuff with soup and tomatoes. Have a great day.